In this video, I'm going to share with you 13 of my favorite web design inspiration sites. These sites help me to build better websites and they're going to help you as well. So here we go. Before we dive into my favorite inspiration sites, let me talk about the sites that I don't like to visit for inspiration. They all live in one category and that's anything that is awards based. I'm talking about sites like A Triple W A R D S or AWA Awards, however you say it. I'm not a fan of this site or sites like it, like CSSDesignAwards.com. The reason that I don't like sites like this is because their purpose is not necessarily to inspire you to create good work for your clients or for your companies. They're actually there just to stroke the ego of other designers. And for that reason, I'm out. Now, before you dive into web design specific inspirations, there are a couple places I like to go for just general design inspiration as a whole. And some of those are save.it. We can find just really cool things that have to do with architecture, furniture design, 3D design, logo design. I think it's healthy to look outside of the medium in which you're designing and save it is actually a really great resource. Next up, we talk about fontsinuse.com. This website is fantastic because for me, I need to visualize how fonts might be used. It doesn't help me a lot to see just fonts kind of static on Google fonts or just out of context. This gives me an idea of how they might be used, you know, in really cool and interesting ways. I can spend hours just scanning this site and checking out the different implementations of how typography can be playful, fun, interesting, and outside of the box from how I normally use it. Let's dive into the website specific inspiration sites. First on my list is framer.com slash gallery. Now, the reason that I love Framer's gallery of sites that are submitted is because they're all built in Framer. And as somebody who has moved my entire client work and agency work over to Framer, this is a big deal for me because I can shop all of these different designs and see what's actually possible inside of Framer. If I click on a design, I see who built it, a little bit about it, and then I can actually click and see the live website in action. As I scroll down, this lets me know, oh, this is possible in Framer. Maybe these are some things that I should try. And that's helpful if you're looking at a tool specific inspiration site. Next up is a new one for me, and that is Site of Sites. This was recommended to me by somebody recently, and I really love this site because it just has tons and tons of great work. And if you're looking for what's specific on a certain platform or all platforms, this is a great place to go because when we click on a piece of work, I actually get something really, really interesting here. A nice, simple about section. It lets me get a link to the live site as well as tell me what platform it was built on and who the design is actually credited to. Then I can actually go down to the best parts of the website. They're presented well. This tells me how maybe I should be thinking about presenting my work as well as designing and building my work. What platform, how to think about it, and how to showcase all of that gorgeous work as well. Lapa.ninja is an oldie but a goodie. It's a fantastic resource if you can put up with the amount of ads that are all over this site. So you got to make sure that you kind of filter through because here's an ad. There's an ad down below. Here's another ad for Webflow. As we scroll through, though, if we can ignore all those ads, we find some really, really beautiful design work. I can click on that. Again, I have to ignore the ads, but we can get through and actually find some pretty gorgeous examples of the work. Not necessarily my favorite, but definitely a dependable resource to go to. Next up is minimal gallery. It's exactly what you want from a website inspiration site. It is minimal by its nature. It allows you to search through lots of great different filtering options. If I want to look for a one page agency e-commerce, I can drill down on just that work and there's no frills here. It's a browsing experience because as soon as I click on something, I'm going to go straight to the live site. This is great if I just want to see lots of stuff at a glance, just start to filter through, scan through, and then dive deep and actually experience the website just with one simple click. So absolutely minimal dot gallery is a great option for inspiration. The next inspiration site has a little bit of a weird name, but it's called godly dot website. Tons of inspiration here. And again, a browsing experience by being able to filter down, not just on websites, but if I want to jump over to mobile apps or desktop apps or just see everything, I can do that. Again, I'm a big fan of a browsing experience. And when you click on any individual piece of work here, it's going to give me a pretty good list of of the type of technology and fonts and frameworks and everything that was used to build this site. So one quick snapshot, lots of details. I'm a really big fan of 
that, you should probably be a fan of it too. Continuing on with my love of browsing experiences is landingfolio.com. This is a great resource. Again, we can start to drill down on software, design tools, SaaS. We can see all of the different industries over here in the left-hand column. And you can also drill down on things like Figma components or Tailwind components. Clicking over there is gonna open up a different gallery with different elements for me to peruse. Again, this is about getting inspired. And I like as much inspiration as I possibly can at one time. And this is a great resource for that. The next inspiration site is all about building portfolios. Killerportfolio.com is just that. You're gonna find nothing but portfolio sites. Now that might be personal portfolio, company portfolio, design portfolio. Hey, what's a development portfolio look like? A good one? We can find some good examples here. So if you're looking for portfolio specific with some of those filtering options, this is a great one because I can jump over to a personal portfolio here, click on that, and again, just get nice clean shots, a little bit like a case study, just to have a little bit of information. It's not too long or I don't want to read it. It's just right. The next resource is a little bit different because it doesn't focus on entire websites, but instead individual sections of websites, which is super helpful. This is unsection.com. So if I'm looking for things like a hero section design or call to action section design, I can actually scroll down and get lots of these CTA sections that might inspire me on the projects that I'm working with. Click on that. We just get a nice, simple understanding of what's happening here. And then down here on the right hand side, you actually get a couple of tags. It's light, it's vector, it's minimal, it's for software, and maybe the industry is technology. Maybe that's all I need. And just some kind of insights on this section, Unsection can help you do that. Next up is a classic, and that is OnePageLove.com. Now, quite often they're gonna focus on Webflow sites. That doesn't really matter to me. I'm just looking for great one-page layouts. One-page websites are super popular for good reason. Sometimes all you need is a good one-pager, and this website truly is showing the love for that one-page website design style. Click on one of these and you get some, again, very helpful tags here, the category, the feature, Features and a little bit of an explanation. Scroll through it. We can look at the live work if we want to, but I also love these really easy browsing arrows on the left and right hand side. I can just start to browse through really, really easily. Again, browsing experiences are big for me. I want to be inspired fast, efficient, but get lots of different inspirations all in one setting. And One Page Love has always done well. It will continue to do well for you. If I'm building an e-commerce site and I need some inspiration specifically for e-commerce, Commerce Cream is a great place to go because everything here is going to be in that vein of e-commerce. There's a difference between just a marketing site or promoting a brand versus trying to sell product. And this is what this site is really, really good at doing. It's letting me know what other people are doing when they're selling, how they're writing their copy, how they're laying out their product, how they're leading the users. What's also really cool here is it shows most of these in a mobile format, mobile first, because this is the primary place where people are looking at websites. Therefore, the primary place where people are actually spending money is on mobile websites. So we should think about e-commerce in a mobile first way. And this site does a really good job of helping me to think through that process. Last one on the list is very specific, but this is brutalistwebsite.com. Brutalist design is really the punk rock of design nowadays. It's anything that goes against the grain, steps outside of what's normal, what's standard, what you see all the time. Brutalistwebsite.com is gonna give you some of that unstandard design style to maybe push your boundaries, to push your limits, and encourage you and inspire you to do something a little bit different, a little bit new. Maybe break the rules, have some fun, don't stay on the grid. That's what this website is really highlighting. Fantastic resource for all of you who want to push your boundaries and try something new. Well, there you have it. Those are 13 of my favorite inspiration sites, whether it be web design specific, portfolio design, or just design in general. Let me know down in the comments, where are you getting inspired? I'd love to know. Is there a resource that I'm missing out on? hit me up in the comments. Also check the description for links to all of these sites that I've mentioned today and make sure that you leave a thumbs up on this video and ring that bell so you know when more videos like this one come out. Hope you're having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things. We'll see you in the next one.